lot of Russians are trying to flee their homeland. Lithuania not opening its doors to them. Well, I would not agree. I think this is a misinterpretation. Because in Lithuania, you would uh, meet quite... But you said no to them, uh, correct? Uh, well... Walk me through it. Not this way. Because uh, in Lithuania, you will meet many people from Russian opposition, civil society, media, who fled the country throughout the recent years of Putin's repression. We were offering them humanitarian visas, uh, political shelter, whatever, because we were always welcoming country for people who are being oppressed, actually oppressed by their uh, authoritarian regimes. And this will never change. And we are still doing this, and the, uh, the so people... conscription doesn't equate uh, oppression? Well, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but the conscription doesn't necessarily equate to you being a political opponent. Because uh, there are quite many people who are quite okay with uh, Russia fighting against Ukrainians in Ukraine, grabbing lands and executing war crimes, until... Uh, a guy from military service came and knocked at your door. And this is not really a political position. This is a physical position. This is, you know, a self-preservation position. This I can understand. But this doesn't make you a political fighter that you don't want to go to Russian army. So we would want to have a, uh, to maintain our right to judge every person who appeal for humanitarian visa or political asylum under his or her own merits. And of course, we were supportive for people who, uh, who stood, who had uh, courage to stand against the regime, and we always be like that. But we will never be sort of uh, a, a place that would let anybody into the small country uh, just because you don't want to be conscripted by, by your government.